All right, I just saw Digimon Adventure Zero Two: The Beginning uh, in theaters. This is this was another film uh, directed by Tomohisa Taguchi, um, who I just got back from seeing his other movie, uh, Tunnel to Summer, a few days ago, and now he's doing Digimon again after doing the f mo the uh, previous Digimon film, Last Evolution Kizuna, which. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of. I own the D. I own the Blu-ray for it. I did a segment on it in my Anime News Network video on Digimon, uh, in which I said that I was excited for this movie. Um, I will say before we get into this, full disclosure. I was never a big fan of Zero Two. I was never a big fan of the second season of Digimon. I was much more of a season one guy, um, mostly because I hated Davis, <laughs> who, um, in the Japanese version that's Daisuke, could not stand him. I'm sure that's partly the dub's fault, but also it made me never not want to really go back and rewatch Zero Two like I have done with uh, the original series in the past, so... I don't really know a lot of what happens in Zero Two. I watched like a plot summary before going to this movie, but it turns out I didn't need it because this has absolutely nothing to do with anything that happened in Zero Two. Um, which I'm not sure exactly where I land on that um, because again. I wasn't a big fan of Zero Two, but if you were a big fan of Zero Two, that would that probably will be a bit of a disappointment for you with this movie. Um, like in uh, Last Evolution Kizuna, we got some brief shots of the Gen Two Digi Destined as they played like support roles for the Gen One Digi Destined, uh, and so it's like, oh, they're still around. They're not stuck in a pod like they were in Digimon Tri. Uh, God, I fucking hate Digimon Try, but um, so I was hoping that we would get something similar to uh, Last Evolution, where we would get like a sort of final thesis on the character arcs that these Digi Destined went through, and we really don't. They're mostly support characters for this movie, um, in. Uh, support of a new movie original character named Rui. Uh, Louis. Um, he is basically Shinji in a lot of ways. <laughs> We're, I might as well get into this now. This, what this movie does is surprisingly it kind of just picks and chooses a lot of elements from anime that I consider to be 10 out of 10s. It has it takes the human connection stuff from Evangelion. It takes the... It takes some of the Kyubei elements from Madoka Magica. Uh, it takes some uh, spoilery elements that I... From Maiden Abyss. Um, to create this very... Complicated hodgepodge of a movie that ultimately boil it's mostly Evangelion if I'm being honest it's mostly like the you have to reach out and connect with other people stuff which fits which I think fits well with the setting of Digimon like you have these partners who you form a bond with and whom you rely on and that's kinda like the initial like inciting thematic incident I should say I guess you could call it of this film is like throwing that into question like is this really a bond is this a true bond is this real so on and so forth and as the movie goes on um, I will give some credit the support the zero two digi destined aren't like just complete like blank characters in this they're still fun characters and they do help uh, Louis to towards this through the character arc that he has in this movie and ultimately arrive at a 
pretty satisfying conclusion about what the nature of the bond between Digimon and their Digidestined is. Um, and without getting into spoilers, um, I have a feeling a lot of people are going to not like the symbolic ending to this. Or maybe they will, who knows. Because to Taguchi has been... A even with this, the previous film, he has been accused of kind of shitting on the idea of Digimon and what it means to be like a Digidestined and have that bond. Personally, I don't think that that's what it was. You can get, check out my ANN video for more information on that. But I think this movie further solidifies that, so further solidifies that he... What Tagachi wants to do with Digimon is he wants to end it, I think. Like, he will... I, I don't have any evidence other than how these movies go to support that notion, but he really seems intent on giving finality to this world. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, unless you're Toei Animation and you want to make more movies. <laughs> um... But yes, I would say that this movie does have a really strong sense of finality to it without getting, in a way that's not nearly as bittersweet as the previous movie, but does follow a lot of the same beats of, well, not a lot. It does, it follows a few of the beats of this from that movie, um, sometimes in ways that don't really make sense, like the the quandary that they fall into before the final conflict starts. I didn't really understand how TK arrives at that, the conclusion that he does, and it's just sort of presented as fact throughout. Um, or maybe not fact, it's just presented like as this is the big worry of what will happen, and I don't really understand how he logically arrived at that conclusion, but I guess it makes sense. Uh, because really, yeah, this, the plot is mostly in service of pushing Rui as a character, um, although, although it's not, like, they even had, they even got Megumi Ogata to do the voice for him again. She is the voice actress for Shinji. Um, from Evangelion. She's also the voice actress for uh, Yuta from uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. Uh, and I feel like she's really starting to be typecast as of the past uh, few years or so. Um, she, they're having her just do Shinji again. Um, and if we're going to like do the obvious thing of comparing him to Shinji, he's not that He's not nearly as interesting or as complicated. He's not bad. Um, I will say this show front loads you with a lot, front loads his backstory with a lot of uh, trauma. By the way, probably should have said this up front before people clicked off this video. This is by far the most graphic Digimon movie. Um, like I made the Maiden Abyss comparison for a reason. Stuff happens. I'm not going to say what, but stuff happens. Um, and it really, really took me off guard. So, just keep that in the back of your mind when you see this movie. Um, but yeah, he's not, he's a fine character, but like, it's very painfully obvious that he is they're just trying to do the Shinji thing um especially with how much they hammer on the idea of like you connecting with other people or other Digimon and how you have to kind of meet people halfway and you can never truly know what other people think it's Evangelion it's Evangelion over again so I guess Taguchi wanted to make Evangelion again. Although I will say this is the 
Also, I complained in the Tunnel to Summer video that Taguchi needs some, needed a scriptwriter other than himself, and that is true with this movie. He, it's the same scriptwriter as Last Evolution Kizuna. And so, like, script-wise, like, in terms of just this movie in isolation, there weren't really a lot of huge problems with it. There were, like, some things I could nitpick here and there, like the lead-in to the final conflict. But if you take it as the Digimon franchise as a whole, or if you take it in the context of anime, it starts to really show, like, there was may maybe the direction that this, the concept-wise, the direction that this movie went in might not have been the most interesting way to do it. Because, again, they don't really, they don't really do anything with the Digi-Destin in this. Um, there's really not a lot of fights in this. Like, I don't want to be like Meathead Shonen Guy and complain about where the where fight, where fight, but really, where was the fights in this? Like, it's all at the very end, and it's not even that interesting of a fight. It's a really big set piece that, um, I will say the model for that set piece was really detailed and really interesting looking and really fucking creepy looking, I could say that much. Uh, but it leaves me wondering, like, how much of a Digimon film was this? Like, in the most br basic sense of it, yeah, it was, but it doesn't, like, really hone in on anything like Last Evolution did. Like, I'm not even comparing it to, like, the TV series. I'm comparing it to the movie that came before this. Like, same staff, same idea. It's just lacking. That said, the resolution is really solid. It's pretty much exactly what you saw coming a mile away, but it just really nails, like, the micro beats of it. Just the step-by-step -step moments leading into the resolution uh, really had uh, warmed the cockles of my heart. Really just, it kind of got to me, because, like, Especially with some of the stuff that happens at the around the midpoint of this movie, um, the resolution feels a lot more cathartic than I was expecting it to. So I can definitely give it credit for that, um, and I can also give it credit for looking pretty decent as well. Uh, again, this is I don't I think. Tunnel to Summer was probably Taguchi's worst looking show. Uh, I don't remember Twin, the Twin Star Exorcist anime that much, but I do remember it looking really good. Uh, and I haven't gotten around to Bleach Thousand Year Blood War yet, but again, I think that probably speaks for itself in terms of how good it looks. Um, but this is def. I will say Digimon is almost like tailor-made to Taguchi's, like, directing style, like, his color des sense of color design, his sense for, like, set pieces, um, uh, his lighting, the, it's just very vibrant and colorful in some really interesting ways, um, though, on the whole, I think it's a little lax in terms of, like, shot composition and more like interesting cinematography like again I keep bringing up Last Evolution had some really really great shots in it some really strong like visual symbolism uh, and there's a little bit of that in Zero Two the beginning but not as much as I was hoping for um Fortunately, the soundtrack definitely makes up for it. This is, I think it's Harumi Fuki, I think is the composer. She's the one who's on, like, pretty much every uh, Taguchi project. Uh, and I kind of com was hoping for a little more with, like, Tunnel to Summer, but um, she she really pulls out some all the stops here. Like, the, the hatching scene in this movie, the soundtrack is fucking incredible. Just really 
digs in with some kind of demented sounds to it. Uh, so, audio end, can definitely say this was a success. Like, and, and again, Megumi Ogata is a great voice actress. She's She might be one of the best. Uh, speaking of one of the best, um, uh, Rui's Digimon partner is voiced by Rie Kugimiya, which I didn't realize until I checked it after the movie ended. I'm like, that's why it sounded so familiar and so Rie Kugimiya. <laughs> so that was a nice little surprise. Rie Kugimiya is like one of my favorite voice actresses of all time. Uh, so yeah, I'm left feeling very complicated about this movie. Because, like, it's a, on one hand, it's a hodgepodge of a lot of things that have been done better in other places, and it really takes away from the potential that this movie had to delve into the, like, pre-existing characters from Digimon. Like, I would like, I would have liked to see some stuff with Ken and hell, I would have been fine with a Davis arc. Although I will say Davis is definitely a bright spot in this movie. Just the unending optimism and headstrongness of him in this really uh, counterbalanced a lot of the gloom and doom that comes from like Louis from from Rui. Uh, so yeah, on the one hand, I really wish we had gotten more like just Digimon stuff. But on the other hand, it's still a fine movie. It's, I hate saying this, but it's serviceable. And it does really, the shock and awe of some parts of it are definitely going to stick with me for a while. Um, so, I'm, I'm left feeling very conflicted about it. I did enjoy I definitely enjoyed it overall. I enjoyed it a lot more, I think, than Tunnel to Summer, but not nearly as much as uh, Last Evolution. So, I guess I'm feeling like a like a strong 6 or a light 7 on this one. It's it's a fine movie. It is a fine movie. But if you're looking for more Gen 2 Adventures, you're unfortunately not going to find it here. So, yeah, that's all I have to say on that. Um, I don't know what the next anime film coming out is, but I'm definitely going to check out uh, Godzilla Minus One whenever that comes out. I think that's the beginning of December. Might I'm Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to do a video on that. So... Be on the lookout for that and all of my seasonal wrap-up show stuff that is still coming out. Uh, my name is Ember, and I'll see you next time.